In this problem, we're told the coefficient of kinetic friction between a suitcase and the floor is 0.272. If the suitcase has a mass of 71.5 kilograms, how far can it be pushed across the level floor with 642 joules of work? So as usual, you want to draw what's going on. So we have the suitcase, and we're going to be pushing it some distance, but that's what we're going to be solving for. We're given the mass of the suitcase, which is 71.5 kilograms. We're given the coefficient of kinetic friction, 0.272. And we're given the amount of work that this is going to, or the work that's going to be done, which is 642 joules. So how are we going to solve this problem? So we're going to solve it using uh, this formula right here, which is the formula for work, which basically tells us work is equal to force times distance. So if we know the force being applied and we know the distance, we can solve for work. But in this case, we're going to be solving for distance. So what we need is the work done, which in case we're given, it's 642 joules. But what force are they talking about? So in this case, the only force that's going to be acting along this way is going to be the force of friction. So when they talk about how much work is done, it's going to be the work done by this force. So it's going to be work equals, and the force we're talking about is the force of friction, times the distance. So if we want to solve for the distance, what we can do is divide by the force of friction. And we know the distance is just going to be equal to the work done, which we're given. It's 642 joules. But then we don't know what the force of friction is. So how do we find that? So the force of friction, uh, you should know from the last unit, is equal to mu sub k times f sub n. So this is the formula used to solve for it. So if we want to solve for the force of friction, it's just going to be the coefficient of kinetic friction, which we're given right here. It's 0 0.272 times the normal force. So in this case, we have no other forces acting in the y. So the normal force is just going to be equal to mg. So it's going to be equal to the mass of the object, which we know is 71.5 times g. And I'm just going to estimate that at 9.8. You can use 9.81 if you'd like. So this is just going to be the force of friction, right? You have mu sub k times f sub n, which is just mg, because we only have uh, mg going down so we just know they're going to be equal so we can divide by this so plugging in the force of friction so 0.272 times 71.5 times 9.8 and so what we want to do now is just plug this in your formula or in your calculator so 642 and then divide by 0.272 times 71.5 times 9.8 and so when you go ahead and do this you're going to get that the distance is equal to 3.368 uh, 4 and so on. I'm just going to go ahead and round to 3.37. And so keep in mind when we use joules and then uh, this is 4, so it's newtons, uh, you get meters. So it's going to be 3.37 meters. That's going to be the distance or about 3.37. So yeah, this is going to be your answer and hopefully you found this useful.